before you do that and stick around with Candy Cans Group because we have two more stories coming up. So before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It is 100% for free. All right. So with that, you guys, let's move on to our next story, which is very disturbing. I should do a trigger warning with this photo. So trigger warning with this photo. Uh, if you have, that's all I can say. Trigger warning with a photo. If you see it, you see it. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So this is according to Reality Blurb. And it says, Lisa Renna shares disturbing pic of daughter Amelia as she faces backlash from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans. Lisa Renna, Lisa Renna, you know what? I don't want to talk about you, but you give us such great content. Here we go. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. So this is according to Reality Blurb. Lisa Renna shared a photo of her youngest daughter, Amelia Gray Hamlin, 21, posing for the perfect magazine that has her Instagram fans and followers in an uproar. After the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills alum, 59, posted the February 22nd image, which featured the model in a black printed bikini with tons of jewelry and a long mustache, social media's media users slammed the image as, quote, disturbing and asked Lisa if she was promoting EDs. You know, EDs are, you know, eating Ds, you know, the situation. Okay. When somebody has disordered eating okay and lisa renna's caption she she shared a snippet from amelia's conversation with creative director andreas the husband of the late designer vivian westwood which was initially posted by vivian quote i didn't really think very much about it when you came for the casting in paris you felt like one of the girls who has always been in the shows you were very familiar to me straight away, Andreas said. You know, this was my very my first ever show in Paris, Amelia wondered. I didn't, he confirmed. You basically made my life. Not only my first show in Paris, but my biggest dream in the world, she replied. This is also kind of creepy. Like the model with the older guy? Mm-mm. Following the sharing of the post, Lisa was met with criticism. Quote, disturbing to say the least. Last thing I want my daughter seeing, really, get your head checked, one person demanded. Another one says, I'm a big fan of yours, Lisa, but having a young daughter myself, I find this image really disturbing. She is so extremely thin, and obviously she has had cosmic procedures, which at her age is really sad, another stated. A third fan said they were so confused and wonder why Lisa would post the pic. Are you promoting EDs? This is an awful campaign. Do better, they wrote. Side note, I agree. I agree. Like, it is, I think it's very triggering. And that's why I did the trigger warning at the beginning. It's a very triggering photo. I think it's triggering in a lot of ways. One, I do think it's triggering for someone who has suffered from and may be in recovery from an ED. They might see something like this and be and think, oh, that's what I should get back to. That's what I need to look like. I think it could be triggering for someone who is already struggling with their own body image. Maybe they haven't had an ED, but maybe they're kind of on like that cusp and they see this and it triggers them. I also think it's triggering to people who... And I don't I don't I don't know if it's my place to say this because I'm a straight woman. So I want to be very respectful and I don't want to be ignorant to this. But I don't know why. But I thought it was also kind of disrespectful to like trans. I don't know if that's the correct term. I don't know if you know what I mean, like trans or like by like non-binary. Again, I'm straight. So I want to be as respectful as possible. So if I'm saying something that's ignorant, I apologize. It's not my intent to be ignorant. I just literally don't know. To me, that was a little bit um, 
bizarre, not bizarre, but like I didn't understand. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing because I'm trying to be respectful. But I thought I found that to be a little taking off. I don't know. And then uh, another reason why I thought this was so distasteful for, for Lisa Renna to post is because this was also taken during the time, during the height of Amelia's own ED. So why would you post a picture of your daughter during the time where you knew, you knew she was actually suffering from an ED? This isn't a, a new picture because, again, in the caption, she said, this was my first show. Thank you so much. Back in Paris. All of that stuff. So that's also triggering not just to us, the public, but this could also be extremely triggering to your daughter. I don't have children, but if I did have a child and they struggled with anything, whether it was a drug addiction, whether it was an ED, whatever the case may be, the absolute last thing I would do is post a picture of them that glorifies their lowest moment on Instagram and acting like it is a proud moment. It's disgusting and extremely disrespectful. And this is the same woman that had the audacity to throw Garcelle's book in the trash, claiming she had a problem with Garcelle talking about her daughter in the book, when the only thing Garcelle did was literally, literally just talk about a scene from the show that aired on the show that Amelia just happened to come up with as a topic of conversation. That was it. This is the same chick who had her legal team send um, a cease and desist or whatever the hell it was to Garcelle, threatening her if she didn't take the excerpt out of her book. Garcelle Bouvet, if you ever listen to this, don't you ever, ever cower to people like this again. I would have kept it in my book like what? And then every single time I went on a book tour, I would make damn sure to read that excerpt. Because Garcelle did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong. As it turns out, this actually vindicates Garcelle. Because remember when uh, Lisa Renna was using her daughter's ED as a storyline and Garcelle checked her and she said, well, do you think dancing naked on Instagram could have an effect on your daughter? And Lisa Renna lost her damn mind. Because Garcelle checked her all the way out. And now what is she doing? She's literally posting a photo of when Amelia was at her one of her lowest po points in her ED and is now glorifying it on her Instagram. Absolutely disgusting. And you know what also is disgusting? Rena also now trying to be a model. She was at pa Paris Fashion Week and doing this, that, and the third and modeling and walking down the, the runways. Like... Stop trying to overshadow your daughters. You wonder why, and this is no offense to the daughters. I feel bad. My heart goes out to Amelia and Delilah. You wonder why they're on TikTok and Instagram talking about they have like five different diseases and they can't get trauma therapy and they're crying and they're accidentally overdosing and they have EDs. Could you imagine? My mother would never, never, she would never post something on any social account that glorified me during my lowest point in my life. And that is exactly what she is doing. And it's disgusting. It's disgusting. All right, let's keep going. Quote, the image message of this is showing young girls is disturbing, agreed someone else. As Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans will recall, Amelia confirmed past struggles with anorexia, you know what I mean, that the ED that starts with an A. Um, I don't want to get it knocked on my channel by saying it. In April 2018, later crediting her ED to the time she spent at an all-girls school, which, quote, completely effed her up. Also, your mother, boo-boo. Horrible image to our young girls. Rinna has even spoken out about disorders, but yet she still will post something like this another person shared. 
Meanwhile, someone else described the pic as, quote, really sad and disturbing. And they added, I believe these types of images are more about shock value. At the time that Amelia went public with her in a, a battle, she shared a, le a lengthy statement on her Instagram page. Quote, I went through this journey not for attention, not for people to pity me, but to help, but to help. I am on this earth to help people. And I know that she wrote at the time, one in 200 women in the U.S. suffer from AED and I want to help. I know Amelia wants to help, but your mother sure as hell doesn't. Sure as hell doesn't. Ugh. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. What do you think about Lisa Renna posting this picture of her daughter, basically glorifying her when she had the ED? Put it down below. Let me know what you think. And do you think, I think Garcelle's been vindicated, but this is, but is this even more vindication for when Garcelle called out Lisa Renna for, you know, doing triggering behavior regarding her daughter's EDs on social media? Put it down below. Let me know what you think. But before you do that and stick around, Candy Cans, because we got one last story to do. So before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It is 100% for free and you, got a, and you get a lot of free self-care content. So with that, let's move on to our last story. Dun, 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 dun. And this 